Hey community, I wanted to check in with those of you that are single and dating and just share a few thoughts that I had around this time where most of us are either quarantined or super limited in our, our workspace and just out of contact with people. I know there's a lot of moms that are really struggling with kids um, in their homes right now that are working and trying to balance a lot of things. And my heart goes out to you. And I know too that the single often gets overlooked because um, sometimes when we already feel isolated, to have an extra layer of isolation, it can feel even more isolating and anxiety provoking and sometimes depression can set in. And, um, and maybe, I don't know where you are in your dating life, but sometimes it can, if you were dating, it can discourage you. Maybe you'll say, oh, well, here's a reason why I don't need to start dating now or maybe you started and you're like oh this isn't going well okay whatever and you just throw in the towel and I want to encourage you that there are a couple ways just wanted to share like three ways that this time could actually be helpful for your dating life and one of those is uh, as you know there's access to online there's so many people out there online and you might find that even now there's even more options for you, which sometimes can be challenging to sort through and kind of filter through a lot of options and uh, unwanted solicitations or things that you don't want. But if you um, are solid in what you know you want, it's a great way, it's a great tool that many other singles are probably like you, looking forward and trying to pass time. And, and, and it could be, opening up to you like a lot of possibilities that maybe otherwise people would be busy at work or doing other things and so get on there if you're if you're at all inclined if you feel if you've been thinking about it if you've got discouraged and maybe now you're wanting to jump back why not just try it now um and the other thing is that maybe you find you have been dating and you've gotten discouraged and you've been coming up against some like roadblocks or some painful things or maybe just a bad ghosting experience um, and it's bringing up stuff in you and you've been so busy at work and activities but now you actually have time to explore like what what's actually going on inside of me what what are the fears coming up as I'm dating how am I showing up like what is my body language saying to people how am I communicating um, maybe I'm saying something that I didn't really mean or maybe my fears are, are preventing a real connection with someone. And it might be time to go inside and really journal what's going on or get in touch with your feelings, talk with someone online about it, um, a friend, a coach, a counselor. It might be time that you can actually invest in yourself and really explore like what is coming up for me as I'm dating. And the third thing is that online dating, maybe you can't get in you know, go on a coffee date right now, or it's not, you know, you don't have any restaurants open in your town or, or ways that you would normally go, places you'd normally go on dates. But maybe this actually is an opportunity to start a email conversation, to start a phone conversation, to start a Zoom chat, where you guys can get to know each other and see if there's a chemistry in those levels without actually having the physical connection. And what can be positive about that is actually you can see like what do we have apart from the physical connection um, or what can we do to like deepen our initial friendship connection through getting to know each other in a way that once you start dating that person you may not have that kind of time or that kind of um, richness to your relationship in a way that would be to like pour out your heart in an email. Not that you want to be pouring out your heart to someone, to someone you just met, but to, I know when I write, I access a different part of me that's, that feels deeper. And so maybe use this time to make those kinds of connections online that can be fully realized when you, when we come out of this quarantine and you find that, wow, this person is really great in person too. And, and now we have this depth of initial connection that we can build on. So I hope those thoughts are helpful. Much love to you all. If you find that this time is particularly hard for you and you wanna work through something, 
if you're feeling anxiety, if you're feeling depression, any of those things, I would be more than happy to offer my community a session up until April 1st at no cost. So please get in touch with me, send me a private message, respond to this email, wherever you're watching this. I hope that you can connect and feel supported in whatever you're experiencing. All right, love you guys so much. Take care, bye.